if I actually ever told you guys this, but whenever I'm recording more than one episode in a session, I actually save between it just in case, you know, uh, well, maybe if something bad happens and I want to restart, I just, I don't want to restart the whole part. So yeah, I also have to make sure everything is good and ready and up to snuff. Because I don't want to do it and then realize the commentary file's gone. Even though commentary file's gone, I'm probably just going to copy over the commentary or whatever. But anyways, well hey my fellow video gamers and let's players, I'm Juddleplays and welcome back to Victory Road of Pokemon Platinum. That sounds a little weird, but we are in Victory Road. So, in the last episode, we started doing things. Uh, did I mess this up? N uh, actually no, we're supposed to go up this way, never mind. Why was I even doing that strength puzzle? I forgot, that's op totally, totally optional. Let me see how well your Pokemon can battle, but in the last episode we went through that one route, Route 223, and we've started Victory Row. In this episode we're continuing it by battling this veteran. It seemed like the only move that Licky Licky knowed was slam, because the only thing he kept using was slam after slam after slam. Jeez. But now, you might be wondering why I used Fly Gull to fight a Licky Licky. Well, you know, I was going into this area, I'm thinking maybe I should start using some awkward uh, combinations to fight these guys. Maybe to train them up a little bit, even though they can't really react to different types of Pokemon. But here, be careful. Because if you fall down here, you are going to be in a beep of trouble because you're going to have to go all the way back through there. And there's the repel that goes. Uh, 250 steps goes by really fast at times. I'm not even doing the right thing. There we go. Max repels. 18 max repels. There we go. Well, we, now we have 17, but we did have 18 max repels left. And ooh, karate guy. Actually, I already have fly gal out there. But watch, this guy's probably not going to have any karate moves. And I'm going to be like, oh, no, I probably should have got a different Pokemon. My Pokemon knows karate. I'm warning you, it's a tough one. I remember back when I was a kid, me and my friend the Epic Being, whenever we saw that guy, the Machamp, and he always did that, we always made fun of him because he was flexing his boobs. But then again, we never realized that it was actually called pecs. He was flexing his pecs, you know? Not his boobs, his pecs. But now we are in this other secondary off room here, which that has nothing for it. Okay, but we are going to be going over here, which looks like we need something to fight against water types. But, uh, maybe not. Maybe this guy probably doesn't even have water types, but who knows? This is just a surf area, you know? Never, no one knows. I feel like every Pokemon LP has their fair share of moments of idiotic moments with a trainer. Well, that trainer used Curse when it barely had any HP, and it killed itself. I mean, really, it... Just... Just... The stupidity. The stupidity. I, I just cannot take it. I cannot take some of the stupidity of these trainers in this game. Jeez. That was just probably one of the most stupid things I've ever seen from this game. Because I'm like, I did that, and I'm like, wait, what? What? Why would you use Curse? And then again, I probably hit it, then it used Curse, but let's switch... No, let's switch Jet out front, because Jet's the only one who hasn't actually... Yeah, Jet is actually the only Pokemon who hasn't hit 50 yet. So let's bring Jet out. Oh, goodness, let's heal up. J actually, no. I'm not going to heal up Jet. I believe Jet should be fine. We are going to do a double battle, though. Let's just wait here for these people to go by. Because this is an automatic double battle, which I really don't like how they do these at times. It's a double team's team of aces. Yes, and Jill. Pat and Jill. Okay. <laughs> Well, 
one, 12,000 polka dollars, that's a lot of money, but also, it's kind of funny how they call them double team, it's like, yeah, we the double team, it's like one of those bad rap names or something, you know, rap yo, kids yo and stuff yo, yes, that makes so much sense, but now up here, we can get a rare candy, which is awesome, now I might be using some rare candies when I train, I know it does something with the stats and stuff, it's not really that good, but you know, sometimes I just really want to do that. And you know, at times I really wish my camera wouldn't do this weird glare effect whenever I'm in a dark cave, because it only doesn't do it when I'm actually talking to something or going into surfing mode, which is stupid why it does that, but you know, it's the game, sometimes you can't get what you want, and there's a trainer, which we're gonna have to fight because we have to use surf to get up there anyways. Victory Road, somehow it feels as if my journey is now coming to an end. Well, it is. But before the final chapter is written, I must pen your defeat. Now I believe before any more fights happen, let's heal up Houndoom, because now I remember when I had to fight with Houndoom, I'm like, you know, maybe we should just heal up Houndoom fully, because Houndoom is getting pretty bad with the HP. And maybe Jet too, because, well, hell, we have a whole bunch of Hyper Potions to use, we can use it on everybody, even though nobody else needs Hyper Potions. But now we are all up to snuff and ready to battle, and someone actually came into the house. But it's nothing that you need to be worried about, though, because we are going to be recording this anyways. And now Waterfall, Ugh, I'm commentating what I am doing in a Pokemon game. You can tell I'm really running out of stuff to say, because this is basically just a whole place that you just go through. And ooh, Repel's Effect War... I didn't want to see my turn card. Oh yeah, 36 hours and 2 minutes. That is... A lot of time playing this game, and I actually made up my money from the stuff I bought at that store like a part ago. No, two parts ago, actually. No, not the Hyper Potion, the Max Repel, which is in this one. And yeah, I think my friend was right about me not needing that many Max Repels, because I am totally set with Max Repels. Now, let's switch Pokemon quickly. I believe, let's bring Dracor out, even though he's so overpowered, we can still need some Dracor action, you know. Because Dracor is awesome like that, you know, he's he's a party devil. He's the most awesome devil in the world, partying. Partying like crazy. Well, that guy definitely was a dragon-type master because he was kind of like Lance, he had dragon-types. But as you see, he did have a good amount, well, I mean, it's kind of cool how he had a Gabite. I'm pretty sure they do a Gabite just in case you haven't seen a Gabite before. Which, funny thing is, you can actually run into Gabites in this area. And now if we look at this part, which first I need to actually switch out to, let's see, who should I, let's actually switch out to Shocker. Because I believe this person actually has an Empoleon, which is crazy. But first, let's go over here, because I believe there is actually something we can get over here. Actually, there is nothing, no, there is something here. But there's an item here. And don't worry about that guy in front of the door. It's really nothing. That guy in front of the door is supposed to be... That's something you can't do until the after game. Actually, let me see what he says. I just want to check to see what he says, actually. Let me size you up. Aim for the Pokemon League. That's all you should be thinking about. Yeah. He's kind of saying, don't go in this area because this area has Pokemon that aren't in the regular decks. And if you get Pokemon that aren't in the regular decks, that is bad. Now we have this guy right here. This old veteran guy again. I can sense that your Pokemon have a lot of trust in you, and you and your Pokemon, you seem to be a glow.
was going to use that Pokemon on that, it didn't work out that well. But now before we use a Rock Climb up here, let's actually revive Mr. Shocker. Mr. Shocker had a really bad accident in that fight, which I was going to use him in the fight, but turns out it really didn't work out that much. And I don't even know how much the revive actually, actually does for health. I know Max Revive does full, but I'm not sure how much a rev Revive does. I don't know if it's like a fraction of the health, like maybe a third of it. I have no idea, actually. It's, it's something I might want to look up. Or maybe it's just a random amount, but maybe compared to the Pokemon's level and stats. But now, the last trainer we have in here, which uh, I feel like I want to switch out to Jet. Mainly because I want Jet to get to level 50, so all my Pokemon are at least level 50 before exiting Victory Road. And dang, I feel like this Victory Road went by really fast. This is a place where tough trainers naturally congregate. It's ideal for training. We're finally done with the trainers in this area. Let's get out of here. There we go, okay. Now, we are finally out of Victory Road and at the Pokemon League. And this egg song actually sounds a lot different at night. It's actually cool. Pokemon League ahead. Let's actually look at what this says. Pokemon League, the pinnacle of trainerdom. Yes. Now, before we go here, actually no, let's surf up here and surf up this waterfall. And then we'll be into the door of the Pokemon League. So let's use Waterfall up here. And now, we can finally... Or the Repel Effect's gonna wear off, but we are finally at the Pokemon League. Look how nice that looks out there. Just look how nice this view is here. If you want to know, this just has trainer uh, pinnacle train them and stuff. But look, we've made our way so far into this game, and you know... I never thought I would actually do this Let's Play so far. I'm actually tearing up a little bit because I'm thinking, you know, this is finally going to be the time that I finish Pokemon Platinum after so many tries of beating this game. I'm finally going to beat this game. So, in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum, we are going to be entering this building of the Pokemon League and seeing what awaits us. Actually, no, I'm just going to enter it right now because what awaits us is actually a thing right here in a Pokemon because we're going to heal up. So, in the next episode, after I heal up, we're going to go to this one lady, as you see in the corner, and see what's going to happen before we actually fight that. Spoiler, something's going to happen. So, this has been Juddle Plays saying see you later and goodbye.